Applying textures to extruded text is a topic which was requested on the HitFilm forums, and here we are to help you out. It's a fairly simple process. We'll look at several different techniques in HitFilm 2 Ultimate, and one that works in HitFilm 2 Express as well. We need only two components, our text and the texture we wish to use. So first off, let's create our text. You can select an appropriate font and size and whatnot. Make sure that you properly adjust the whatnot. And now for the texture. You might use an image you've imported, or it could be a plane on which you've created a texture using clouds or other hit film effects. It could even be a video if you wanted an animated texture. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a still JPEG of the back of some leather, which I have imported. So I'll add that to the timeline. And now we have two layers, our text and our texture. Next, we will apply a set mat effect to our texture layer. We'll grab our set mat, and we're going to apply this to the texture straight off, and then let's turn off the text layer. Okay, so that's invisible, but the layer is still there. Double click the set mat to open its controls, and as the source layer, choose our text. Kastang! We've immediately combined the shape of our text and our texture image. Now we need to add our extrusion, which will also go on the texture image layer. So we'll grab our 3D extrusion, we'll add that to the texture, and then in the controls, let's increase the depth of that a bit. There we go, 3D extruded textured text. This is the first and more proper method of texturing extruded text. You can now use a 3D point to control the extrusion. If we go to the position, Transfer from that point. Now if we grab that, we can control that textured text in 3D, move it around however we want. So for this technique, note that the only layer that's actually visible is the texture. The shape and the extrusion are all happening on the texture layer. The text itself isn't even visible. A second method of texturing extruded text, which also works nicely in the express version of HitFilm, involves extruding the text itself and then using the environment map to reflect a texture onto it. So I'm going to duplicate our original text layer. I'll make this copy visible. I'm going to move it down to the bottom and we'll do our second technique here. I'm also going to add a second copy of our texture and I'm just going to change its name so we can distinguish between the two. I'll turn this texture off and now on this copy the key difference is that we're going to add our extrusion to the text itself. Once again, I'm going to make that extrusion a bit deeper, and then I'm going to change the color of the text, because in this technique, the color of the text will have an impact on the final appearance of our texture. I'm going to use a medium gray, but ultimately, you can adjust this color to whatever you want to customize the final look of the texture. So now, we'll go back to our extrusion, and in the environment map, we'll select our texture as the layer. Now that alters the color a bit. Now take the pre-blur and set that to zero, and you can see this texture reflected onto the text. Now take the angle dependency and bring that down to zero as well. So there's our second technique. Each of these two techniques will give you advantages and disadvantages depending on your situation. The environment map that we've used here on the bottom gives us a bit more texture on the sides of the letters, if you look at the T here. With the extruded texture version, we get kind of this stratified appearance to the sides of the letters. We also have a little bit more control directly over how the texture is applied using this environment map method. We can soften the detail of the texture using the pre-blur. We can use the amount or change the color of the text to affect the final appearance. And the angle dependency essentially gives us control over the sheen of the text there and how much light is reflected off of that. We can also use the texture scale and texture ratio to control how the texture is mapped onto our letters. So if you want to give some finer detail in that texture there, you can adjust the texture scale to do that very quickly. So we have lots of control, but since this really is a reflected texture, it works best if the text is locked in place or you want the texture to move independently of the text. So if you're using a point to animate the extrusion, then you'll want to use the first technique we looked at. On the flip side, if you're in HitFilm Express, you'll need to use this second technique. But with the extruded texture, which we used in our first method here up top, 
As we saw, we can animate the text moving however we want without issue. And while we don't have as much control over the texture directly within the effect, we do have the option of adding additional effects to our texture image to modify its appearance. So we could easily add some blur or tweak the colors or contrast of that layer using additional effects. In HitFilm 2 Ultimate, we can even use Parallax and add that to our texture and then we'll create a light and you can very quickly create some 3D depth to the texture that you've applied. So this gives you a few techniques to play with. Of course, you also have the option of creating your text in a 3D modeling program, texturing it there, and then importing the fully 3D textured model into HitFilm 2 Ultimate for genuine 3D text. But right now we're just focusing on techniques for texturing extruded text within HitFilm. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks again to those of you who requested this tutorial. Bye for now.